So, here we are, April 11th, and we got a little snowstorm. Pretty much everything that we had over the winter had melted off. We were down to the grass, and we blasted with this. High winds. It's not really snowing that hard, but anything that's landed on the ground earlier is just adding to the nightmare and the drive. I know you ask yourself, why are you all driving in that? Well, I had to go to class this morning down in, in Hinkley. storm was coming I called and they said they weren't canceling classes so here we are I'm driving home and the big thing is it's basically white out there goes the road I'm hoping that it gets better once I start going down the hill into the loose. This is just all crazy open area right here. seen a storm like this in a couple of years now. When you hear people talking about a whiteout, this is a whiteout. There's one in the ditch. See, it helps to, you know, driving like this, I have my flashers on. No one's going to see your marker lights through this, but at least when you have your flashers on, behind you can somewhat see you. I'm pretty sure I have my window cracked open just a little bit if you're wondering what else So I'm really glad that I'm making my way home right now and not 
be four hours from now. It's just another one of those driving experiences that I wouldn't want as an over-the-road truck driver. This wind is hitting the side of those trailers hard. Those guys get buffeted around like you wouldn't believe. I know two of the main bridges, the Blotnik and the Bond Bridge, up this way, have warnings right now for the trucks, buses, whatever, not to be driving over right now because that wind is coming off the lake and it's blowing super hard. And it will overturn a truck. It's blowing probably, I'd say 35 miles an hour, gusting 40, 45. Some of those really big hits earlier when I was going through open fields, I'm sure the gust had to be up in the 50s at least. Now that I'm not up on top of that hill anymore, the wind seems a little more manageable. And it's not supposed to really clear up until tomorrow sometime the windows start slowing down. They've given warnings for people not to go down by Lake Superior right now. Because the wind is going to push all that ice that was out there up against the shore, break it up into smaller pieces, and there's a possibility of getting struck by a piece of of ice, a big piece of ice. You know, last year when we had uh, a windstorm somewhat like to this, but without the snow, it was blowing on the lake so hard that when the, the waves crashed on the shore, it just threw all that water up in the air and light posts, the trees. Anything that down there was coated with a couple inches of ice. And I know it trashed the lake walk. You know, water's a powerful thing. You know, it's got the wind behind it, it's going to do some damage. So I'm sure come tomorrow morning there's going to be some reports of more damage to the lake walk or something's happened down around the Canal Park area. I know if I was, uh, or if one of those ships out there are coming to harbor, <laughs> this has got to be just terrible. The lake's just got to be whipped into a frenzy right now. It's definitely standing straight up. It's blowing so hard, I can feel the wind going under the car and lifting me up. It's an interesting sensation.